I thought from now on when I make new masks I wanted to show off you know the sizes how they fit and stuff like that and we'll talk about some other stuff too This is my first, fourth vlog, but like the first time since 2017, I think. I thought from now on, when I make new masks, I wanted to show off, you know, the sizes, how they fit and stuff like that. And I'll talk about some other stuff too. I do music too. I thought I was gonna mention some of that stuff too, you know, but uh, I'll do that in the end. I will be posting new episodes, you know, here on my YouTube. Yeah, let's have some fun. So. I have been busy with a couple of masks these last couple of weeks. Uh, the first one I made was uh, this hybrid of Sean Crayon. It's a pretty cool piece, I think. I really like it. Uh, as you can see, it's not a full headed piece, you know, not for the entire head. Um, yeah, the main reason why I did that is there's already so much accurate, perfect, you know, uh, versions out there. So I thought, why should I do that too, you know? So I thought maybe a hybrid would be cool, you know, make like a Sean Crahan, Iowa uh, clown, but you know, a mixture of all of the clowns through the entire era. So, you know, I thought it would be a cool idea if you wanted to order one of these, uh, you know, that you can tell me which kind of paint job you wanted on this, you know, so I could like make it as good as possible, you know? Uh, the version uh, the version you would like i'm sorry i'm a little bit tired as usual so my english is not 100 percent plus i made it just a face mask because the hybrid thing you know sean crahan in the latest uh, era he had only a face mask you know so i thought if someone would like to have like a silver version of this i could do it you know like it would be cool you know if sean crahan actually would use the iowa mask and you know but then in, in, you know the same style as now like that hard plastic you know silver or chrome so bring this bastard back again so that was kind of the idea behind this i hope you like it i would say it fits very nicely um i think it would fit a small sized head and a medium sized head. If you're aware that you have to buy large uh, caps and stuff like that, I think you're gonna have a problem with getting this on. But yet again, maybe you don't. So I don't dare to say it really. So it's a very comfortable mask to be honest. So off to the next mask. Of course, it's Corey Taylor, the Subliminal Versus Volume 3. I always forget to say that. And uh, yeah, this is Corey's new mask. You know, like I said before, the ones of you who actually follow me on Instagram, they knew that I did a version before this, which was too small and I was not happy with it. So I threw the entire thing and I just read it the entire thing. And then this beauty came out and I'm really, really happy with it. Actually the colors, the sculpt, everything, you know, it's, it has such nice details, you know, it's, I really love it, you know, it's like, you know, it's very, it's nice. Ah. Now, actually this one is bigger than the clown masks. This is actually a medium. A medium could definitely fit this on their head. A uh, small, I think too. It would be a bit big, you know, but Corey and some of his concerts, the mask looked huge, you know, so you can put, definitely pull it off. And a large, you know, I think so too, honestly. It's gonna be a bit more tight, you know? As you can see, it's a very nice fit. Very nice. It's, it's, uh, I love this mask. Every time I wanna make a mask, it's it, 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 the first copy ends up in my collection. <laughs> this is the size. It's really, really comfortable. And uh, it's also available in my store now. Now the last mask is this one. It's actually life size. It is a rapper, XXX Tentacion. Many of you will definitely know him. For you who don't know him, you should check his music out. His older music was pretty hard, disordered, you know, a lot of aggression, very dark. But later in the end, you know, it became more softer and stuff like that. When he found himself and finally was happy, he's not with us anymore. And that's so sad. So 
this tribute piece, I really love it. And it is actually, I don't know, as a fan, it was very special to do this. You're so focused on, you know, building this person's face up, you know, when you sculpt and you have this music in the background, you know, it, it just gives a very special vibe, you know, while doing that, it's crazy. It was actually the first human face ever, you know, uh, which I made. So if you, if you look closely, you know, like, and the pores and stuff like that on, on, on it's it's so detailed the skin you know and, and the tattoos i really love it it's the ugly era also that's why he doesn't have any eyebrows he was kind of like fuck it you know be who you want to be you don't have to you know fit in with the rest you know just be who you want to be so this is from that era string on the back instead that's how it looks from the inside so but let's put it on and see the size so you can see it. Now, like I said, it is life size. So I think a uh, small would definitely get away with it. A medium too, but a large, I am not sure. I don't dare to say that. But it's a tribute mask, you know, if you don't want to wear it, you can also have it, you know, on your wall as an art piece or something like that, you know? I'm only planning to sell like, a maximum of 20 copies of this, not more, and 25% of uh, the profits I am gonna send to the XXX Tentacion Foundation. I really love this piece, so I hope you do too. So those were my three designs which I made, which you can see on my Instagram. You can buy them in my store, or you can find links to all of those pages on my website. So that was the mask part, the music thing. I, I do trap music. Uh, it's like more trap metal rap, but vocal wise, it's actually in most singing. There's no autotune, you know, very little distortion. So there's pretty clean vocals. If you want to check that out, definitely do. Uh, I have this song coming up now with Ricky Myers of the death metal band Suffocation. They're really big in the USA, worldwide actually. So it's definitely a very, very big collaboration for me. I had this band, it's called Shrapnap. Uh, we sang on this together too in one song. Uh, I was on vocals and I did uh, the producing and also, you know, some of the synth stuff. It's Kevin Talley, who has been in Suffocation too, on drums. He has been in Six Feet Under, Dying Fetus and many more. And it's Mike Sarkeesian of Spineshank on guitar, and he did bass too on this record. So we kind of tried to start off, you know, a band, a studio band, or how you call it. But uh, yeah, we never really got the support of the magazines, you know? It's definitely not your average industrial metal. It's very weird and strange. It has like really industrial stuff on there, but also some death metal stuff. And that's where Ricky Myers of Suffocation kicks in. <laughs> We did one song together, and uh, the song is called Apocalyptic Slaughtering. It's really hard, it's awesome. But there's also collaborations with Rob Holiday. You may know him from Sulphur. And there is also a collaboration with uh, Sean Zatorski. And he is, of course, the lead singer of Sense Anem. He has been uh, in Chimaira. So, yeah, that you should definitely check out. I have a couple of these left, so everyone who orders a mask will get a free one of these. You can do whatever you want with it. You can put your beer on it, or you can just listen to it. For the ones who are curious, go to Spotify and just search Shrapnap and you will find it. Social Masks, the record is called. On the Bandcamp, there's another record too, but it was just me and Mike, and it was very industrial. No drummings, just electronic stuff. So for the people who are new here, I guess you are here because you uh, saw the shorts from the masks so i would like to welcome you and i'm gonna keep posting mask stuff here i do gaming too there's food challenges too food challenges to the, you know other challenges too every time when i'm drunk and i'm with my friends i get stupid ideas last time they i let them like shoot golf balls up my ass my entire back and ass was blue as hell the carolina reapers and, and i it was just insane you know stapling stuff to my forehead so it's all kinds of weird stuff but uh, <laughs> you just have to check my youtube account for that stuff easiest thing to do is just to go to kevinshratnap.com and then just 
scroll down and, and, and so you see all the links to the social pages. Follow whichever one you want to like or check out, you know? Or just stay here and, and, and just keep an eye on my masks if that's the only thing you're interested in. Oh, that was this vlog. So, I'm gonna drink a beer now and play Minecraft. If you are out of focus, you know, you, know, you, you really need to focus on something. You know, this is what I do. I leave, you know, my entire skull here in the kitchen. I go to my PlayStation, I play some Minecraft. My, I swear to God, it's not, a, it's not a joke, Minecraft, it triggers your creativity. It's really like that, man. You're creative there, you get new ideas, you pause that shit, you go to the kitchen, you continue working, you know. Minecraft is the perfect game for that, you know. You, there's no like intense battles, you know, and stuff like that. It's, you know, you're creative there and you're creative here and it's perfect for your mind, you know, it's perfect. That's, that's awesome. That was my vlog. I hope you liked it. Uh, as soon as I have like a new mask, I will do more of these. So, yeah, keep an eye on my masks, keep an eye on my music, and uh, yeah, thanks for following. And uh, see you next time. Bye.